The true backbones of our community are often the people who go nameless and thankless. 10 News reporter McKinley Struther introduces us to a Roanoke man who paved the way for other black owned businesses and helped sustain his community as a hidden figure. St. Patrick Wright, a hidden figure. I do recognize the places where it used to be. See, that's the history, you know, that's, that's been changed since then. The 1970s, Wright's Refrigeration and Air Conditioning Service opens in Roanoke. I was the first, as I know, the first a black man to establish a, such a business. In fact, he says there were few black-owned businesses of any kind at the time. I had uh, black and white, can't tell. Mr. Wright served them all. He also served his family, his wife and two children, and his community. He paid his dues. Born in 1942, Mr. Wright first served his country before serving his community. He says he later taught his trade at Virginia Western Community College and the VA Medical Center. You have to be twice as good because uh, everybody thinks that you're not capable of doing it. And he proved himself capable. He successfully operated his business for more than four decades. It really doesn't matter if you're black or white. As long as had the experience, had the cartel, had the uh, business minded. You know, your icons, they're, they're there, but as time goes on, you don't want to forget them. You know, because they're the one that made the paved the way for others. So we went back to where it all began. Lost. <laughs> <Just lost. laughs> the corner of Andrews and 10th Street. St. Patrick Wright, a hidden figure, no more. <laughs> I'm sure it looks a lot different than it did in the yeah. 70s. Thank you. <laughs> McKinley Struther, 10 News, working for you.